Well, everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. And this is a new fantasy film based off of the tabletop game Dungeons and Dragons, which I have DM'd. I've played Dungeons and Dragons over the past few years, probably closing in on five. And I love this game. It's so inventive and creative, and there's just so much freedom to go about doing what you want to do. And this particular film is written and directed by John Francis Daly of Freaks and Geeks fame and Jonathan Goldstein. And they previously did Game Night, which was one of the most unexpected action comedies, I think, ever. And it absolutely boot me out of water. And they brought that energy to Dungeons & Dragons because this absolutely did too. This is such a fantastic film. The pacing is great. You don't feel the two hours and 15 minutes. There's always this great, adventurous kind of feel propelling us forward. You have great visuals. There's some really strong special effects here. There's also especially some great action sequences and how they portray the action. There's one particular one involving like a changeling going through this whole entire city that's absolutely fantastic. There's some inspired camera work and how they make some bold usage of the screen and the camera in this film. Uh, it's such a thrill ride, too. Tonally, it's there. It has its creepier moments, but for the most part, it's fun and adventurous and jaunting. It has some surprises along the way. It has some bold uses of storytelling. Like at the very beginning, Chris Pine's basically trying to tell us his whole backstory and just the way that he's doing it and playing with his audience is so much fun. We're in it with him. You have such a great cast that you have Chris Pine, who plays Ed, who's our main bard, and he gets to sing, he gets to be charming, he gets to show emotion, and we love him. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez as the fighter Holga is so great. Uh, she's really enjoyable. Her dynamic with Ed, uh, Pine's character is fantastic. The two of them have great chemistry. Ray Jean Page as this paladin is so stern and overly analytical of the world, and it's just wonderful to watch. Justice Smith plays Simon, who is some kind of wizard, and he gets on to go on a really f interesting arc here of, like, trying to find his confidence. He also wants a woo dork who is a druid, played by Sophia Lillis. And of course you have Hugh Grant, who is Forge, who is a rogue, piece of crap, just mustache twirling, charming, sassy, charismatic villain that I absolutely love every second that he's on screen. And you have a couple other standouts, including one very unexpected cameo that I'll not ruin. But I just love that you can tell that the makers of this film love D&D and know how it works. You could feel like the meta jokes of them like making comments about the party that feel like it's commenting on what it's like to actually play with a party in D&D. You have a lot of great references and creatures and just world building that you get here. You get some great music by Lauren Baum, who just really sets a tone there. There are some elements, like a lot of it feels familiar. It is a heist film, and it really falls into the tropes of heist films and like getting the band together and all that stuff. And of course, there's last minute swerves during the job where we're going to have to call an audible or an audible of an audible that's really just this first plan, but you don't want to call it the first plan because it already has a stigma. And humor like that. It's also hilarious. There's plenty of humor. You have some solid emotional moments. And, you know, I do feel like the ant main, main antagonist, and when you really find out what's going on here, is pretty bland and uninteresting. But it is interesting when they get into action, you get to see them with some of these set pieces, these action sequences are actually a ton of fun. This film just has so many things going for it firing on all cylinders, and I cannot wait for this to hopefully make money so they'll make more of them and I get to explore this even more. It's such a fully realized and wonderful film and world in it. 
being able to connect back with the game of Dungeons and Dragons this all comes together for a satisfying and wonderful time at the movies. But those are my thoughts on Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.